Samsung's been quiet on the chipset front for a bit, right? But now, they're gearing up to drop the Exynos 2600, their first chip built on that super advanced 2 nanometer tech with this GAA thing. Don't worry, it's just a fancy way of packing more power into a tiny space. And get this, before they unleash it on the world in a few months, probably in the Galaxy S26, they've been running these secret internal tests. The results? Straight up wild. This thing is crushing the competition like it's no big deal. We're talking Apple's A19 Pro and Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 getting left in the dust. I mean, my jaw dropped when I first read this. Let me break it down for you step by step because it's too juicy to skip. First off, the AI side. Oh man, this is where the Exynos 2600 flexes hardest. In these tests, it's clocking in at six times. Six times the speed of Apple's neural engine in the A19 Pro. Yeah, you heard that, right? Imagine your phone thinking and processing AI stuff like photo edits or voice commands at warp speed compared to the next iPhone chip. And against the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, it's still 30% ahead on that NPU, the brain for AI tasks. I'm sitting here thinking, Samsung, what kind of magic did you cook up? It's got me hyped because AI is everywhere now, your camera, your assistants, and if this holds up, Samsung phones could feel next level smart. Now let's hit the compute performance, the raw brain power for everyday multitasking. Against the A19 Pro, the Exynos is 14% faster in multi-core stuff. That's like juggling apps, videos, and games without breaking a sweat. They didn't spill the beans on how it stacks against the Snapdragon's Orion cores, which are beasts in their own right. Kinda suspicious, huh? Makes you wonder if Qualcomm's got the edge there, and Samsung's like, eh, we'll let you guess. But still, 14% over Apple? That's not chump change. It's the kind of win that could make your galaxy scroll smoother than butter. GPU time, graphics for gaming, and all that eye candy. Here's where it gets emotional for me as a gamer. The Exynos 2600 is 75% faster than the A19 Pro's 6-core GPU. 75%! That's like going from a sports car to a rocket ship for rendering those shiny Unreal Engine games. But hold up, against the Snapdragon 8 Elite's Adreno 850, it's only 29% ahead. Still solid, but not as blowout. I can already see the frame rates jumping in Genshin Impact or whatever's hot next year. Samsung's Xclipse graphics powered by AMD tech must be firing on all cylinders here. Makes me want to grab popcorn and watch the benchmark wars unfold. Oh, and speaking of benchmarks, have you seen that fresh Geekbench 6 leak for the Exynos 2600? It popped up just recently and it's got single core scores hovering around 3400 and multi-core pushing past 11,300. That's in the ballpark of what we'd expect from these flagships, but it lines up scarily well with these internal tests. Leaks like this get my heart racing because they're like sneak peeks, raw, unfiltered numbers from an early sample. Not perfect, but it screams, this chip is ready to rumble. If you're into numbers, go dig it up. It'll make you nod along with what I'm saying. But wait, before we all book our S26 pre-orders, let's pump the brakes. I love geeking out over these wins, but here's the real talk. Internal tests from Samsung, they're like that highlight reel where everything's perfect, not the full game. Why? Because in their lab, this chip's probably chilling in some air-conditioned dream room, temps super low so it can crank clocks sky high without sweating. No heat buildup means no throttling, that annoying slowdown when things get too hot. And power limits? that they crank them wide open for these runs. Insane battery drain be damned. In a real phone crammed into a slim Galaxy body, it hit that thermal wall fast, performance dipping like a bad stock. I've seen it with past Exynos chips. Hype in the lab, solid but not god tier in your pocket. That's why I'm equal parts pumped and skeptical. These numbers are breathtaking on paper. Samsung wiping the floor, reclaiming that flagship throne they kinda stepped back from. But the real proof? We'll see it when the S26 hits shelves, running actual apps, games, and that AI magic in the wild. No more controlled vibes, just straight up how it feels in your hand. Until then, I'm crossing my fingers this isn't just lab flexing. 
What do you think? Can Exynos pull off the comeback? Drop your takes below, I read them all. And if you're itching for more deets, that Korea Economic Daily report is gold. Check the link in the description. Hit like if you're Team Exynos Revival, subscribe for the S26 deep dive when it drops, let's keep the tech chat rolling.